Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, today I'll be unboxing the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Collector's Edition. So, uh, pretty excited for this, looks like a really great set. Uh, it was delayed a couple days, the Collector's Edition was, but I have it now, so that's the important part. Um, so let's jump in here and see what we got. We do have some Moke okay art on the front here, so we've got this silhouetted character uh, in front of a window, and you know, a siding of a house kind of finish around the box. Nothing on the sides, and then on the back, as you would expect to see, just a nice picture of all the contents of the collector's edition. So, let's get in here and see what we got. Alright, so right on top here we've got instructions on how to set up and use the house, uh, which is also a music box. And then we've got a, a little warning label here to be very careful when you're pulling the house out because it is very fragile and there are some reports that specifically in the UK a lot of these are showing up broken so whether it's in shipping or packing or what have you um, there's been apparently quite an issue with that so uh, hopefully I don't have that problem here but uh, if you've got one of these make sure that you're very very cautious with it especially when you're unboxing it yourself. So underneath that, we have a copy of the game, a VHS tape, I can see the steel book in there, and I know there's a lithograph as well. Um, very happy to see a copy of the game. You know, as I've been saying, so many collector's editions are not including them anymore, and that's a real bummer. So glad to see that that's here. We do have a steel book as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is a great looking steel book. Very simple, black and white, uh, you know, color scheme but it's textured embossed, so there's a real nice design element to this. That is a very, very nice steel book. Uh, nothing inside, unfortunately. I'm always looking for DLC in there, uh, but there is a bit of uh, artwork of just the house in there, so that's a pretty nice touch as well. We've got a VHS tape here which says, Derelict House, June 1st. So, pretty cool piece. It's the right size, it's the right shape. Looks very much like a VHS tape. And the coolest thing here, is that it actually opens up like one as well. So the little front flap, just like on an actual tape, flips open and there's some goodies inside. All right, so we've got a little scrap of paper here. It says, I shall dash them against the stones. And uh, over top of them, we've got you written in blood. So creepy little message. Um, not especially cool, but, you know, I guess it's a neat touch. Alright. And then we have this uh, mannequin finger little key. Obviously very closely connected to the game. And uh, it's articulated, which is nice. You can kind of, you know, bend it around a little bit, which is pretty cool. And then you pull it apart and it is a USB stick as well. So, pretty nice touch. It's a nice little, uh, nice little addition for sure. Uh, so those are the small pieces. There is a lithograph here as well. Actually, let's take a quick look at that. It's got a nice embossed black envelope, Resident Evil. Pull that out. Okay. Actually, that's pretty nice. I mean, I say that about all of them. And uh, usually the lithographs are really nice. They're just not something that I'm really ever going to going to use for much. So uh, you got a picture of the family around the uh, dinner table there, which is pretty, pretty nasty, uh, but a good choice for a lithograph all the same. So definitely a nice piece, even though, you know, again, not going to do a whole lot with it. So let's get this stuff out of the way and take a look at the house. All right, so there's the house. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, it's got a good amount of weight to it there. Let's get this guy out here carefully. All right, so that's the house. Uh, I guess you call it a statue, music box, whatever you like. Um, it's got a lot of weight to it actually. I was really, really surprised at how heavy this thing is. I mean, that doesn't automatically you know, equal great build quality or anything, but it does feel really, really solid. Um, the detail on here is phenomenal as well. All these little leaves everywhere individually painted. Uh, you know, the siding, the windows, the brickwork, everything. Just really, really good attention to detail. So very well done on that. Now I do see, I mean, it looks to be in great shape, but I mean, there's a lot of really thin, fine, uh, you know, I'm guessing it's plastic work. You know, there's little pillars on the on the porch and out front here. 
and this lattice type stuff. Um, I could really see how this, this could get broken, you know, even just mildly being bumped in shipping or something like that. So that's really unfortunate to hear that that problem is out there. But for those of you uh, fortunate enough to get one intact, uh, I guess I'm pretty lucky myself. Uh, this is a really, really nice, uh, we'll call it a statue again. So it is also a music box and how that works is you actually just pull the chimney off here. Just wiggle it out carefully. Underneath is an on off switch and a little crank and you just give that a spin and it'll play some pr pretty creepy music. And uh, the windows will actually light up and, and flicker and at the end of the song you'll get a little silhouette shadow effect in one of the back windows. So it's a really nice touch, it's a really nice addition to the piece. I mean the, the statue itself, I guess we'll call it, is uh, is really really well done. So I'm really excited to have this uh, collection in my larger collection as it were. Alright guys, well that's the collector's edition. So you do get a copy of the game this time which is great and you get a really awesome steelbook for it. Uh, arguably the nicest steelbook I've got for a while now. So very happy to see that. We do get a lithograph as well. It's pretty decent um, but the VHS tape is, is a pretty cool piece also. So you get that mannequin finger that's also the key and a little note in there which is pretty cool. Um, my favorite part about that's got to be how it opens just like a classic VHS tape though. Uh, last but certainly not least, we have the house, you know, the statue slash music box. Pretty cool, lights up, plays some creepy music, tons of detail, lots of fine work, you know, it feels really solid, but again, lots of very, very detailed, you know, small bits of thin plastic, stuff like that they've done here. Um, looks great, but very, very fragile, so being mindful of that, um, overall this is a great, great set. I'm definitely happy to have it, I think it's a great collection, and if you're a Resident Evil fan, it's definitely worth checking out. Well, that's it for me guys. As always, thank you very much for checking this out. I look forward to making more videos for you soon, and I'll see you then. Thanks. It's a key, right? No. Okay.